Coming right behind her, likewise, has an Ellen Tracy uh, slicker on. The price of that slicker is $350. It's really quite a, uh, a lovely item. And the news conference turned fashion show was designed to show off the more expensive clothing lines Lipman's will feature. Company officials hope to begin attracting more young professional men and women with more disposable income. But whether or not that philosophy... And so that it hugs the body more. Uh, you could yes. be... Well, yeah. okay. All right. So, Barbara, that's kind of a classic look. Yeah, Bar that's classic for yeah. Barbara. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Barbara and I are both wearing kind of yes. classic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> think of the classic, you think of Barbara, you think of Jim. Yeah. What, what, what can I say? Think? Well, there's yeah. a thing. Well, there's a thing. Well, there's a thing. Well, there's a thing. Well, there's a thing. Stick to the classics and you never go out of style. Right. So you'll always be okay. Always be Basic black dress. Old. Okay, this is the return of the little black dress. And this is Jan in a wool crepe dress by Anne Klein. And if Jan will turn, you'll see that this is a very elegant, understated dress with ha that has a very feminine detail in the back. Tiered okay. ruffles for that hourglass look. Okay, and on the makeup we're seeing, this is a very classic look, almost a Chanel look we see a lot very pale face uh, as far as your makeup and foundation and so forth very red lips and during the day it's more of a matte red and at evening you can add a little bit more gloss to it and just on the entire eyelid area a very soft dusting of a warm brown shadow um, the other thing that i might mention with a lot of these paler looks you do need lots of, of dark deep mascara so that you have some definition around the eye you're not totally washed but the eyeliner part is really the dark. eyeliner is very subtle and if it is there it tends to be on the upper portion of the lid mostly and if you want a little bit underneath they're kind of dotting it between the lashes and gently smudging it interesting how those the makeup looks and the colors change uh -huh. from, from season uh -huh. to season. It's kind of fun, actually, to do something different. Okay, we're going to take a look at all our models one Let's more time. Let's get the group in there. I have to say that uh, we have just stunning models in this area. We didn't fly them in. They're here. Right? And this and is the Fort Little Oregon. They work, they work the shows, the ramps, everything in this town mm -hmm. every yeah. day, don't they? You're uh, exactly right. Okay, we want to thank you, ladies. You look absolutely wonderful, and that's inspiring us yes. to go do our workouts. Oh. And Babs is wearing a gown that is black and silver with little bugle beads in between. These are all hand done, like you said, in the top of the show. And notice the interest in the hemline. Somebody ripped the heck out of the hemline. Well, at the wrist, it's called also. feathers. Feathers. Yes. Feathered. They feathered the hemline. And the wrist also. Yeah. Tremendous amount of detail, I think, on this garment. And it sells for about $565. The beads are so tiny. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, much tinier than the sequins. Like one of the models said, somebody must have been real patient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is all evening work, for those yeah. of us who don't know. For the holiday. Dress up for the holiday. So give a party call so we can all come to your house to party. People come to my house to party. Don't dress quite uh, that way. Uh, it would be nice. Okay. Thanks, Babs. Our next model is Brenda. And Brenda is in all white. Now, Brenda wears a lot of black, too, so this mm -hmm. is a departure for Brenda. Uh -huh. Against the dark hair, though, it really is stunning, I think. I like this Ooh. very much. And this one is uh, pearl and uh, bugle beads. And Barbara is in black and silver. And these, by the way, are 100% silk. Mm. And this, again, is done in sequence. This reminds me of op art. Yeah. It is. It's sort of, uh, that's right, and it's, and it's split high on the side. Oh, it's like a flying squirrel deal there. <laughs> no, well, Rocky. Rocky did that. Well, they have other names. Yeah. <laughs> Paul simplifies things. You know, everybody can understand yeah. what we mean. Those are called bat wings. Thank you. That's in fashion, are they called bat wings? Well, they 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 do use that word, bat wings, uh -huh. to describe. They're otherwise known as dolman sleeves. Dolman. Dolman. We call them Rockies over. But you can <laughs> you can call, call them whatever you like. I have a question about sequin gowns. Do you feel the sequins against your skin, or is there a layer of there's material? A, there's a layer of material. There's a lining, a silk lining. I see. So you don't really feel the garment. You don't feel the edge. But you can hear it. It you makes can. noise when you move. I love that blue design. And it certainly the catches the light. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Next, we have Jan. Look at this color. This is a perfect Christmas dress. In fact, people may be tempted to hang Christmas tree balls on you. Oh, <laughs> this is the best. It's funny because Jan said, I've never worn green before, but with the color in it, Perfect. It really is beautiful. And this one is done basically with a lot of sequins. 
and a few bugle beads, and again the leaf detail on the hemline, the uneven hemline. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Paul would like to see the other side, Jan, because he would like to see the uneven hemline. The uneven you hemline. <laughs> yes, it is. It's there you go. She keeps missing you, Paul. I don't think she wants you to see her knee. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> How much does this dress go for? This one is the most expensive. It's seven hundred eighty-five dollars. It is just beautiful. I don't know if women spend that much on holiday dresses, do they? They do. But that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Where is the labor done on these gowns? They're done all over. Some of them are done in the Orient, some in India. Thank you very much. Yes. Do they? You know, and go or? you see a lot of it in the formal affairs in the black country. Mm -hmm. Seven or eight years ago, you didn't see gowns like this for sale. But I think with the you know Dynasty and Dallas and all those shows where the glamour girls are on television, yeah. a lot, people just... and the, the lifestyle of the Reagans in the White House. That's well. right. Well, I used exactly. to think of the singers on television wearing sequin dresses, but you wouldn't expect to see them in no. social situations locally. And now you can play dress up in real life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we need to thank someone today? Yes, we want to thank. I thank Weatherford and Paula, especially for all the hard work. Weatherford is located on Broadway. On Broadway. Downtown Portland. Downtown Portland, and they have beautiful clothes for special occasions. Thank you to you as well. Thank you. I You're a super fan of the voice. Well, I hope I can keep it. I like it. Good. <laughs> we won't be a talk show today. We'll be a whisper show. <laughs> yeah, just for you. <laughs> we'll be right back.